Welcome back to our channel guys. Today it's a special video because we have a giveaway. The first ever giveaway on our channel, on our YouTube channel anyway. It's about five months in the making since Avengers Campus opened up at Disneyland Paris. But we've been busy over the summer and we finally got some time to record this video and you know hopefully we'll stick around and enter the giveaway because we think it's pretty good. I'm going to be cooking some Mickey waffles while we do this video. So we've got this 90th anniversary Mickey waffle maker which we've spoken about before on the channel. Go find the link up there to the other video but the thing is when we first got it we didn't realize it was American I'm not going to go on about it too much because we're going to step away over the other video but it's got an American plug and like we've got British plugs so it's not going to fit so what we had to do was I don't think they sell them anymore they, they might do uh, on Amazon we found this like this huge like generator looking thing um so we basically have to plug the American you probably want to turn that off before I, I excuse myself <laughs> <it> on purpose <laughs> We're gonna plug in the American plug in there. Boop. Uh, and then you can switch that on if you want to. And I'm gonna switch this on. Oh, it's already on. Um, and that's how you convert the voltage from like American electricity to, I don't know, the rest of the world electricity, I guess. Otherwise we would go boom. Yeah, well, we, <laughs> we don't wanna go boom. It's this double flip uh, Mickey Waffle Maker as well. So I don't know if you've seen it or not. It makes three uh, waffles and then you can just flip it over to the other side and pull it out and it's the same on that side. And also while we do that, or while Claire does that, we've been sent a bunch of questions from you guys over on Instagram, Walking With The Woods YouTube, all one word, that we're gonna do. So it's a giveaway, we're cooking Mickey waffles and it's a little bit of a Q&A about our channel and about us, really, which is kind of cool because recently we've got a load of new subscribers on this channel and followers over on Instagram. So, you know, you might wanna know who we are. Just so for dinners, I <laughs> I completely make this up. I have no recipe. I just do it by sight and feel when I whisk <laughs> whisk everything together. So please don't ask me for a recipe because <laughs> I don't have one. Eggs are my favourite part. And there she goes with the whisking. So one of the questions we got sent was, what camera do we have? What camera do we do we use? And there goes the waffles. Anyway, that means they're ready to be. I mean, waffled. It's heated up to the right temperature. Oh, that means it's heated to the right temperature so we can put the batter on the batter mix and start cooking some waffles. How long do the waffles take, Claire, anyway? Um, it depends because there's a couple of different settings. So you can either have it on quite light waffles or a little bit crispier. So it depends. Usually, I think that maybe I haven't quite light, so two minutes maximum. So the camera I'm filming on now is a Sony ZV. E10, uh, which if you've seen one of our older vlogs from Disneyland Paris, I really didn't like at first. The stability was terrible. And then I realized there was this program called Catalyst Browse, which is free software from Sony. Um, so now I'm, you know, we use it all the time. I'm quite fond of it. I'm used to it now after like a year. So yeah, that's the camera we use, Sony ZV E10. Occasionally we still do use our iPhone. Um, I use my iPhone for live streaming, for example, from the parks, but yeah, mainly this Sony camera. What's the worst habit each other has? <laughs> what's the worst habit you've got, Claire? No, what's the worst habit I've got? Um. Go on, be mean. Just the odd noise when you jump. <laughs> <laughs> odd noise, like talking. No, just just when you're when you're chomping, when you when you chomp when I'm when eating. You, when you're eating. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's probably. the only, that's the worst thing, probably. I enjoy her cooking too much. <laughs> What's mine? <laughs> Your honesty. I don't know. She, she ain't got any. Aww. Oh, I, yeah, I do because I leave half cups all out. Oh, cups, like. Cups all over the place. You go wild. Yeah, tea, coffee, anything. It's like she only drinks like half a cup. Not even half a cup. Um, so that really annoys me that she leaves half a cup. And then you make half smaller cups for me, so I drink this uh, and I yeah. still drink half. <laughs> I, drink, I make smaller cups of tea or coffee. And then she, yeah, only drinks half of that as well, so... It's the temperature. I don't like it when it gets lukewarm. So, you know, it has to go. Yeah, that's that's it, really. <laughs> oh, what are you doing now? So I'm just going to spray oh, yeah, just like a little this. bit of fry light. Oh, yeah. Just so it doesn't stick. I like these ears. The detail. Oh, don't move your... There Sorry. we go. Put your pan. Aerial. Uh, Cheshire cat on that one, anyway. But, yeah, what are we, what are we doing here? Oh, so this is uh, our own, like, cup, isn't it? Yes. Well, there you go. So you pour that on. So you pour it Ooh. in in the middle, and then till it's about. Full. Oh, that's good. So once you flip it over, you want to make sure that the, all the waffles actually cover the base and the top. Otherwise, 
um, Mickey loses a bit of an ear. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking from experience. <laughs> Down and then pop oh, that in flip and then over. rotate and then that will fill the other side as well. Yeah, you can't actually get these in the UK. You can get Mickey waffle makers, but not, not this version of the Mickey waffle maker. So, you know. We're special. Where would we like to travel to? Like just anywhere really at the moment. <laughs> like we got married. Uh, what, three months ago? And yet, we're, we're yet to have our honeymoon. Uh, eventually we will do, we were supposed to have it in the summer, like during August, but work was really busy and we couldn't do it. Um, so yeah, just just anywhere, really. If we're talking Disney, we're at Paris all the time. We're at, um, well, it's been four or five years since we went to Florida, Walt Disney World. I think we'd like to go to California, mm. but I know you're really big on uh, doing like the Asia parks in one big trip. Yeah, well, I have a friend who lives in Singapore and we said for our big birthday, I'm not gonna say what it is, <laughs> that we would go and visit her. And obviously Singapore to, you know, Hong Kong's not overly far, so we might as well, while we're over there, we might as well just do a bit of a swoop. Also, just thought I should probably add, I have a dual or duo mic on top as well, so it records <laughs> front and back. It's making some weird noises. <laughs> I've never heard these noises before. It sounds like Mickey's actually stuck in there. <laughs> Mickey's in there. Someone save Mickey. What did I do? What's going on? He's got his full of recipes, guys. If you had 30 days off work, what would you do? I'd probably travel. Like travel, like if money was no object and we didn't have any commitments or anything like that, like the kids taking the kids to school or whatever, um, like just travel every single day, hotel, 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 uh, and just probably just travel around this country, to be honest, like it didn't have to be abroad. Yeah. What do you think, Claire? I think that's a good idea. I, I used to um, do that when I was younger and it's a shame that we've not had a chance to take our kids around. There's some gorgeous beaches and little forests and everything. So that would be, that's a really good idea. What's been the most challenging thing about vlogging for you, Claire, you go first. I think the most challenging for me is uh, I forget all of the English language when the camera's in front of my face. <laughs> so I find it a little bit awkward and stressful, <laughs> especially when Nick has to edit me out like 16 times to say one line. <laughs> yeah, ed editing. <laughs> editing is the, the thing. You know what? The, the worst thing I think is like putting all the effort into some like amazing video or vlog and then you get like five views and then the, the, the absolute like worst video you could possibly make just to like keep a schedule, throw anything out there, gets like thousands of, or tens of thousands of views possibly. Uh, that's the worst thing anyway. It's like, it's just, I don't know, YouTube is a strange animal. It's a beast and like no one really knows, small channels anyway, no small channel really knows, but like they can't figure it out. YouTube's a difficult thing. So these are some we made earlier. They're okay, aren't they? Yeah, so you can see the ones um, that are filled properly. A couple of them have like leaked a little bit. You can see the shape. So this is like, these are like pretty much perfect. These mm. a little bit, it was a little bit too full, but they still taste good. Well done. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any tips for YouTube? Not really, <laughs> to be honest. And nobody knows. Like we just said, like, it's up to YouTube. It's in the gods whether your video or channel takes off or not, really. I would say, though, live streams have been, like, a big thing for us. I think any time you go live on a platform, the platform likes it, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is, um, and they push your content out more or your particular live video out more because it wants you to keep people on their platform and not disappear elsewhere. But if you posted a link on Facebook and said, oh, go check out my new YouTube video or my new TikTok, they probably won't push it and no one's really gonna see it because you're telling someone to leave their platform, you know, if that makes sense. Favorite Disney ride or attraction? Uh, I don't know, Big Thunder Mountain or Hyperspace Mountain, both at Disneyland Paris. Halloween or Christmas? Oof. Uh, what do you think, Claire? So, if it was just me, I'd say Halloween. Halloween at, at uh, Disneyland Paris, like the Halloween party, is really dark as well. <laughs> scary! Like, yeah, definitely Halloween. At Christmas, I think, in real life. In Disney, Halloween. Talking about Halloween. These are some good Halloween ears from Mum and Daughter Is. It's one of my favourite pairs ever. Yeah, Hocus Pocus. Where did we meet? Yes, yeah, so once upon a time um, in like a little pub, bar, somewhere. Um, 
I, me and a friend walked over to Claire and her friend, and I said to Claire, who was not paying attention to me whatsoever, <laughs> like she had she had dagger eyes on me, like she wanted to kill me. <laughs> I think she. Like, who, who, I was like, who are you? How dare you come talk to me? <laughs> yeah. She looked up from her phone for about half a second and then just blanked me completely. And I just said, look, if I can guess your name in five guesses, you have to talk to me. I don't know what the first four guesses was, um, but the fifth go, I was getting ready to leave and I just said, Claire. Uh, and she went, no. Nope. And her friend said, oh my God, I can't believe you got it. Like with absolute amazement on her face. And then the dagger eyes went from me over to her friend. 11 years or so later, we got married and lived happily ever after. Yes, we almost forgot, but we have a giveaway straight from Avengers Campus from Disneyland Paris. Let's have a look inside. And there's a big pile of waffles, yay. So let's talk about this giveaway. Like I say, it's been ongoing since April when Avengers Campus opened over at the Walt Disney Studios within Disneyland Paris. So finally, here it is. Also, thank you very much for your patience as I've had several people messaging asking when on earth are we gonna do this giveaway? Well, now's the time for the giveaway. It's worth the wait. <laughs> so we are doing this giveaway with our friends over at Fly Mickey Travel who have offered a fantastic prize. To reach the magic of your dream Disney destination holiday, you could just imagine, just wish, and just wonder. Or you could just fly Mickey. To make your day more magical, book your next Disney holiday at flymickey.co.uk and we'll help make real magic happen just for you. To be eligible for this giveaway, please first be publicly subscribed to this YouTube channel and of course hit that like button. Please also follow Walking With The Woods YouTube and Fly Mickey Travel on Instagram. This giveaway is open across the world and entries are valid up until 6pm UK time on October the 1st, 2022. This giveaway is no way affiliated with YouTube, Instagram or Disney themselves. And the question that you'll need to answer to being with a chance of winning this giveaway will be coming up very soon. Everything is brand new from Disneyland Paris, from the Avengers Campus area. And we do want to give a huge, huge thank you to Disneyland Paris Tips for the Irish for helping us get this prize together. Do go follow them over on Facebook. They have a fantastic page. Stu has built it from the ground up and Instagram as well. And the best part about it is you don't even need to be Irish. You can be from anywhere in the world to like get something out of that page. It's fantastic. Go follow them. Disneyland Paris tips for the Irish. So let's take a look at the prizes. We have the shiny Avengers Campus Huldal. A Spider-Man Web Slinger's mug. A reversible Web Slinger's bucket hat. A Disneyland Paris Avengers Campus Pin A set of Spider-Man Web Slinger Pins And an Avengers Campus Glow Badge Everything is brand new with tags straight from Disneyland Paris. We think it's a pretty good prize. The total amount of this equals roughly about 100 euros. Also on top of the Avengers Campus giveaway, our friends over at Fly Mickey Travel are offering a 100 pound or euro money off voucher for your next magical adventure. Please do check the description down below for the terms and conditions. In order to win this prize, all we want to know is how many different pairs of ears has Claire worn during this video. If you think you know, please DM us over on Instagram at Walking With The Woods YouTube. And then once you've DM'd us, just maybe pop a comment down below underneath this video, just to let us know you've entered. But please do DM us the, the number on Instagram. Please don't put it in the comments below. If for any reason you do not have Instagram, just please do email us the answer and you'll find that email address down below underneath this video. We'll be drawing the winner for this giveaway on October the 1st on our next live stream where we present the Disney Princess Quiz. Hopefully you stick around for the quiz. Good luck everybody and until next time, let's chip.